All right, let's get going. Let's tell them what's going on. Hey friends, welcome back. If you may have noticed over the course of the last week, we haven't put out as many videos as we have in the previous weeks. And there's some reasons behind that and we wanted to share them with you today. So if you're new and you don't know us, I'm Todd and this is my wife, Rachel. And we have collectively five children. Yep. The youngest is 18. Mm -hmm. Oldest, 23. Yep, almost 24. And... This was the last year with our baby in uh, the house. Yeah. And if you've been following us at all, you know that um, our son serves in the military in the Navy in Hawaii. Um, and our daughter made the decision to join the Navy as well. And it's been a hard week for mom. It was hard for you. It was hard for me. She left on her official last night in the home was Monday night. Um, shipped off to Meps on Tuesday and shipped off to Great Lakes Chicago Naval Base on Wednesday. So, yeah, that was... <laughs> <laughs> extremely emotional. Um, I saw a cute post the other day that said, you know, they write all the books about what to expect when you're expecting, but no one writes a book on what to expect when you become an empty nester and the emotions and the growth and transition and mm -hmm. mourning and everything, all those feelings that you go through. I dealt with it super strongly with Preston, our first one leaving the house, mm -hmm. and then um, again with Abigail being the last. And I think it was different with both of them because joining the military, you don't get to see them like you get to see your college students. They don't always get to come home from right. for holidays. There's long periods of time that you don't get to speak to them. Yeah, and her initial is boot camp these days for Navy is eight weeks. Yeah. So. We had a phone call, I made it there. Hi mom, I'm safe, I love you, everything is good. And hang up the phone and other than letters, we will not hear from her for eight weeks. Mm -hmm. Which is very abnormal for our daughter Abigail in our relationship, she was here right. every single day. Um, and as busy as she is, we saw her every single day. Um, yeah, so that's going on. <laughs> So we've known for a while now that this was Abigail's plans. We knew she was going to leave. And a few months ago, Rachel approached me with the idea of adding another child to our family. And at first I was like, what? <laughs> we're done. <laughs> we raised five kids. We're officially empty nesters. I knew, guys, I was not ready. I... My heart, I knew, wasn't going to be able to take that drastic of a transition, going to such a full home, a vibrant home. And it's been, I mean, it's been a natural transition as each one is left. But my baby, I'm like, oh. The youngest. My only girl. I couldn't do it. So... The thing is, is we are going to not have a natural child. We're not going to foster. We're not adopting. We're going to host exchange student. So that's what I approached him with. And I was like, OK, can I think about it a little bit? <laughs> and, and you guys know me. I'd already been in contact with people. <laughs> <laughs> I think she already had a child picked out. Yeah. <laughs> And um, she, the thing is, is she arrives tomorrow. So we wanted to introduce you guys to the new idea um, that there will be a new member of our family joining us. So the new member of our family, her American name is Bree, and she is going to be a senior in high school with us this year. And she is from Vietnam. Ho Chi Minh City, to be exact. Right, so she's from a city where there's a population of about 9 million people mm -hmm. moving to a rural town here yes. in southeast Michigan yes. on a farm. But she, we have, we have had conversations with her. She is familiar with 
Um, I think what is her grandmother has chickens and a in a in a garden and mm -hmm. so she's excited or you know so lets us know that she's excited and um, mm -hmm. we're super excited to have her and meet her and I guess you might be wondering what led us to hosting an exchange student and um, it was actually quite a natural idea for me. I'd been thinking about it for years, I actually approached by the company several times in the past because I myself am an alumni. I was an exchange student when I was a junior in high school um, to Australia and had a wonderful experience. Um, I kind of wish my kids would have gotten the experience, but now I'm excited. Abigail and Preston still get to see the world through the Navy mm -hmm. and get introduced to new cultures. And um, my mom was even an exchange student when she was in high school to England. So it's kind of just something that's a little natural. My mom always hosted exchange students when I was growing up. Um, Something about YFU. YFU is the company. It stands for Youth for Understanding. We'll put a link to their website in the description if mm -hmm. it's something you're interested in. It seems yeah. like a really good organization. Mm -hmm. You want to tell them about their mission? Or you want me to tell them? No, you were. Oh. I, would, I interrupted you. Okay. Sorry. Um, so their mission, it, it is not um, necessarily an educational experience for the children while they are in school. That's not the purpose of YFU. YFU's sole purpose is to create world peace um, or to have an avenue for world peace. That if as exchange students, um, individuals from different countries are learning um, cultures of other countries, developing family members in other countries, that they uh, will be less apt to uh, promote conflict and ultimately um, reduce opportunities for war and civil breakout mm -hmm. amongst countries. So uh, that is their primary mission, and it's to provide the students a cultural family life experience in another country. By Smells the way, good. if you don't know what I'm canning, this is shredded zucchini and pineapple juice that you can use um, instead of freezing it. And I've, I'm all out of freezer space. <laughs> you can um, use it in dessert recipes and stuff. Um, so that's what I'm doing. But I can say in the very beginning of our conversations about this, Anytime there's a big change, I'm always very apprehensive and I overanalyze everything. Oops. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> it's okay. Um, but it really, really quickly for me grew into something that I'm really looking forward to. I'm really excited. Tomorrow's the day she will be here um, around 3 p.m. We'll get to meet her for the first time face to face. We did do a couple, um, at least one Skype session and mm -hmm. chatted with her and then we also talked with her mom on a different day and um, I think she's just as excited as we are. Yeah, I think Todd is excited to have a kid in the house too that isn't preoccupied in a ton of their own activities that we can really spend some quality time with. Mm -hmm. It's been a while since our kids haven't been super independent. And, right, um, for sure. So for me, it's been a little bit of some saving grace because I was driving home boohoo crying from shipping off Abigail. I had been crying for three days straight and I immediately went to TJ Maxx to do some retail therapy and shopped for Brie for some housewarming gifts and came home and furiously worked on, because she's gonna be staying in Abigail's room. So I furiously worked on uh, getting Abigail's room ready for her, and I think it's spot on, it and she good. should feel very welcome. You were nesting. I was nesting, I was. <laughs> um, so as much as it, Brie, we're excited to have you. Um, there's obviously no replacement for Abigail, so we're super excited to see Abigail in eight weeks mm -hmm. from boot camp. And, uh, but I think that this is something that we will um, help ease that, just that empty nest transition. Mm -hmm. 
So if you're considering what the heck am I going to do during empty nest <laughs> life, here's an option for you. Mm -hmm. If you're not ready to be done with parenting, you still feel like you have something more to give to a child and you've run out of children. Yes. <laughs> there's a lot of kids that you can give something back to out there. Right. Not that our kids don't need us still because we still get the random advice phone calls and right. how to phone calls and we love all of our kids and just a mama's heart has a big hole in it after they leave so i gotta fill that heart hole a little bit yeah yeah so you'll be seeing someone new in our videos perhaps she has expressed interest in participating in all aspects of our life so yeah you guys will get to meet her soon i hope absolutely brie we if you're watching this can't wait to see you tomorrow. Bye, guys. Bye.